Hello, everybody. My name is. see that the first time that I played this game. Where did that come from? No, look, I didn't see this menu. I didn't see any of this the first time that I came into this game. It was just a black screen. Where the hell was that intro? I guess that's cool. It kind of left out some spoilers. Anyway, hello everybody. My name is Markiplier and welcome back to Resident Evil 7. We're continuing our adventure. We're in the thick of the family. And I don't know if that's a good way to say that, but that's exactly our situation. Can I start this goddamn game? All right, so we're back into this. Oh, main house map. That's probably useful. So there was a guest house, and now I'm in the main house. And I'm in the laundry room of the main house, and- Oh, is that the item box? Ooh, I gotta escape from the house. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but I need to get a key over there. It was some kind of crest in the door, so I'm under the assumption that that's what I'm gonna need to be able to get out of here. At least that's usually how this goes. Who's squeak squonking? Recreation room, grandma's room, which I don't know if I want to go into grandma's room, but I'm good. I was, I'm glad I was correct on the name of grandma over there. So, I generally know where all this is. I don't need to be here. I could get to the garage, but I also need to get to the main hall. So there's two places that I could go. I could go to the garage, or I could go upstairs if I find a way out of the, uh... Oh no, I'd have to go to the main hall to be able to do that. Ugh, that's not gonna work out for me. Alright, either way, I think the only place to go is to the garage. I don't know how to get there, but I'm gonna see what's in the item box over here. Oh, hello! Zoe! Zoe 101, can anybody help me? Hello? No, shit, I am alone. Alright, that's good enough. I should remind myself that I'm not exactly alone. I've got so many family members. New items have been added, supply box and defense coin. I don't know what the hell is- <laughs> what is a defense coin gonna do for me? Ooh, shit. Okay. I- I only have a limited number of inventory space, so I'm assuming I don't need the driver's license and the email from Mia. I could get the supply box, a box from Zoe. It contains something to help you along the way, so I'm gonna take that. Give me that, yeah. These coins are said to have special effects on those who carry them. This one was made to toughen your body. How in the hell does that work? What? I'm gonna get a- this- this is the beaten coin! You know when Papa wants to smack me with his shovel, it's gonna make my rump a bit sturdier than it was before. I'll take it, I guess. Alright. I need to find my gun again. I've got my stanky danky kush, and my ancient coin, which is only old and commemorative and isn't gonna help my ass with the beatings. And, and I guess that's all gonna be good. And I'm assuming that those are unified across all the game. So I'll be able to see whatever I need. They really stink. Then why did I look at them? I appreciate the detail in the environment, but I need to have a bit more common sense to, to stick my nose into that. Right, what do we got here? Oh boy! More- more slanky wanky kush. Tab to confine inventory. Ooh. Chem fluid. A, a liquid that can be combined to make items can't be used as is. Oh! Oh shit, that's how I make my goop juice! Oh! I gotta take my slanky blanky kush! and mix it with chem fluid, and somehow that's gonna magically repair all the holes in my hands. Just splash that goop juice on me! Okay, enough being in this room, where I'm safe and alone, and I'm gonna save one more time just because I'm a coward. No, I'm a brave boy! I'm a brave boy, and I'm gonna brave the dangers in this house. Alright, so I guess I just need to- You unlocked it. Well, that's good. Sorry. Is there any way I can close? Okay, all right, there we go. Okay. Hello, Zoe. Is that you? Is that you, Zoe? Friend? You did good, Ethan. Thanks. Zoe, right? I almost died. What the fuck are you? Shut up and listen if you want to stay alive. Okay, thanks. You gotta get out of that house. There might be a way out through the main hall. All right. Oh, and that thing on your wrist is a codex. Don't lose it. It's important. I don't. I don't remember you having an accent before, Zoe. And now that I vaguely remember, Hell I distinctly- girl. Hell of a girl, yeah. Whoa, 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 wowee, whoa, whoa! That's a hell of a girl, but I distinctly remember in the cutscene where someone was stapling my hand back on. 
it might have been a Zoe type character that was doing it because that voice sounded a little bit familiar. It wasn't quite mama quality. But we shall see about that. So hopefully everybody is out for dinner. Yeesh. And maybe grandma has retired back to her room. It isn't gonna be bothering everybody, but this is open now. Okay. Ah, oh, good, yes, he's- he's- he's customized it. Oh boy. Wait, what? Oh, I need a lockpick for that. So eventually, I've gotta be able to find a lockpick. I-I'm assuming that maybe I'm gonna make my way back down to the- to the guest house. It looks fragile, maybe you can break it with something. MY BARE HANDS! My- my- my fisticuffs! My- 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 Daddy Stranglers? That's not good. Garage. Oh, thanks, I can read. Alright, let's make our way in here. Well, this looks maniacal. I don't know why everything needs to be locked away. It's secured with tape that can't be removed by hand. Why? If I grab the tape with my bad stapled hand, is it just gonna fall right off? How can that not be removed by hand? How strong could it possibly be? Bunch of bullshit. Okay, alright. I'll play your game, you rogue. So there's gotta be a way to break that box. I've gotta be able to find an axe or some other type of useful item around here somewhere. Still night. I have a funny feeling it's gonna be perpetually night the entire time I'm here. But I've gotta be able to find, like, an item with which to swing swan. Nothing there. Hi. Oh. Hey. Hi. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. Maybe I shouldn't come to the door, hey, but I'm- I'm gonna do it anyway. Open Hello. Up. Uh, I will open up because that seems like the right thing to do. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Hey, you gotta help me. Hold on. Back up. Okay. Now, sir, do you live here? I mean, is this your property? No! Me? No. No. All right. Now, we got several calls about some missing persons late. You don't understand. I gotta get out of here. I calm down. Yeah, explain yourself. There are crazy people in this house trying to fucking kill me! <laughs> well, all right, let me tell you this. You don't exactly seem like you're playing with a full deck yourself, all right? Are you oh, kidding geez. me? Look, like I said, we've had several missing persons calls. And I can't rule oh. out that an outsider like yourself may not be involved. Oh, right. wow. I'll tell you whatever you want. All right, now that's more like it. Now, meet me in the garage. We'll talk there. How, hey, how are you? You gotta give me your gun. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. You must have lost your mind. Look, officer. Yeah, deputy. Right. Deputy. Now, do you want to see my name in the obituaries? Or do you want to be a hero and save my life? A fucking pocket knife? Here. Take it. That's all you're gonna get. Now go. Garage. Now. Yeah. You weren't- Ethan, come on, man! You weren't making a strong case for yourself! Knife? Well, I mean, you gotta stab someone with it. You might stab a box or two. That big box berry needs to be stabbed! Ha ha! Ha ha! Okay, anyway, got that. Some ammo. God, who goes up to a cop and asks them for their gun? That is like the number one suspicious thing that you could possibly do. <laughs> he, he, yeah, I couldn't do this with my bare hands. Oh, that was ridiculously easy. Okay, all right then. All right, I see this. Okay, all right, okay, you know, ooh, hi. Oh, so you're like a legit cop. And you might actually be able to help me. I should put my knife away. There we go, very hey, relaxed. get the fuck out of here. Now first, you need to tell me what you're doing out here alone in the middle of the night. Me? What about you? No, it's my job. Why don't you do your job and tell me? Answer my questions. You're not gonna believe me if I told you. Try me. Hey, put that door back! Put Wait. that door back up! Wait! Uh. What the uh. fucking fuck? Uh. Uh. Oh! Fuck I'm gonna kill every one of you. Maybe you shouldn't. Oh Jesus! Oh God! Hey, 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 I owe you. What the fucking fuck happened? Jesus! Okay, I'm gonna get my knife out now. Hey, 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 you want to be nice about this? Don't make me bust out my daddy stranglers! <laughs> oh shit, okay, alright, I gotta get the gun somehow. Alright, yeah, come around that way. No, I'm not part of no family. I'm not part of no family, I'm not part of your family, I'm not part of your family. <laughs> we got you. Oh, I got your number now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ow, fuck oh. If I can get him in the head to stun him enough, then he might not cut me in half. Oh shit, two bullets. Fuck, ah, oh, I missed both of them. Ow. Why? Jesus. Oh. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Oh, shit. Well, what am I gonna do about this? I got goop juice. Oh, that felt good. Okay, I hope I got more of that. I must stab ya! Oh, fuck. Ow, my nose. Oh, I didn't guard. Whoopsies. Okay. Alright, bring it on. I'm out of goop juice, but I'm gonna make goop juice out of your blood. Aye, right, fuck. Ow. Yeah, yeah. I'm an old man, son. Whoa. Ow. Yeah, I probably can't, you know. Yeah, this ain't gonna look- this ain't looking good to me. Oh, man. No, 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 don't do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that how that works? Oh, come on now! Oh, no, no! That was my good arm! Well, actually, it was my bad arm, but... Ow. I don't know what she ever saw in you. Well, apparently not much. I is dead. Well, that did not go well for me. Let's try that again. That guy was tough. What was I supposed to do? Take a look around the garage for things that could help the fight. Oh, you mean what I was doing before, but then I stopped doing it in the last episode because I thought it wasn't going to do me any good. Calm down now. Ooh. Hey, calm down now. Ooh, what is this? Car key? Okay, I'll take that. Jump. Oh, what's that? You got shot in the face? I don't feel too bad. Hey, 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 hey. Jump. Jump. Oh, shit. Jump. Aha. Okay, so do I get in the car or something? Is that what I do? You don't know that. Also, a nice hole in your face. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm getting in. I'm getting in. I'm getting in. I'm getting out of here, baby. There's no way he's going to say, hey, fuck off. Oh, okay. All right, then, if you want to drive so badly. Whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Nice convertible, dude! Okay. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna work out. Okay, goodbye. Jeez. <laughs> Alright, little joyride never hurt anybody. Some GTA physics going on in here. Vroom. Oh, shit. Vroom? Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> ah, shit. That's funny. That's actually really funny. Uh, Tokyo Drift up in this garage. Oh, shit. Can I just shoot him? Ow, fuck. God damn it, that didn't hit me. What an asshole. Okay, I guess that's not gonna do any good. Whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Oh, you know you're not. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Alright, then. Whoa, Jesus. You feeling okay, buddy? Are you, are you sober enough to- Wow, fucking goddammit. Let me splash some goop juice on my car wounds. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, fucking goddammit. This asshole. Well, I'm out of goop juice. I gotta move! Fucking hell. Whoa. Shit, dude. How much more does this guy need to take? Oh, fuck. Maybe I just slash him up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Whoa. Oh, fuck it. Can you be dead now? Can you be dead? Can you be dead, please? Can you please be dead? Whoa! 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 Fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, I'm sorry! Oh, hi! Oh, boy! Okay, are you gonna stay down? Oh, fuck. Are you gonna stay down? You're gonna stay down? Oh, he's not gonna- Ha! Ah, fucking fuck! Holy shit! Okay, then. Are you gonna stay down this time? You gonna fucking stay down, boyo? God, you are hard as shit to kill. And I have a funny feeling you're not killed yet. You killed? You killed? He did say something about if I kill him, he'll just keep coming back. So I think that lends, lends some credence to my theory that these guys are effectively immortal. They do keep coming back. Excuse me while I mix this with my stanky dank, Habuski. All right. So I got that. And then also, he said something when he killed me the first time. He said, I don't know what she sees in you. So they almost follow and get their abilities from some originator girl. I imagine it's like this creepy girl figure or whatever, or something to do with the normal viruses. Because I don't know if this has to do with the Ouroboros virus, which is what, uh, 
What plague people in Resident Evil 4, and I believe 5 and 6. Oh, I can't go up there. It looks like I can go up there. Oh, come on now. That looks like I can go up there. Oh, there we go. Okay. I fucking god damn it. Your attention, boy. You're about to see some wonderful. Oh, fuck. He's still moving. Holy shit, he's still moving. There he was. Good God. Ugh. Alright then, that was something wonderful indeed. I'm really happy that I saw that. Is your car gonna come back to life too? Alright then. Good boy. I'm just gonna go up here and try to forget my own insanity and hopefully get past this in some other way. Oh look! It's a crashed. I can take this. Oh boy. So if I put this on the door, I'll be able to go to the main hall and then continue this horrifying adventure. Okay, so I got the ox statuette that'll combine with the whatever the hell I was doing for- Okay! Oh! Oh, alright! I guess this would have been intelligent to maybe come up here while the guy was driving around. Maybe I could have saved myself some trouble. But then again, I'm just a brave boy. I never said I was a smart boy. I'm just brave. And stupid. Alright, let me get in here and save. Uh, I'm out of this insanity here. Okay, so... Ugh. So the only person that could help me, the police officer, is now dead, and I don't know if he had time to radio for backup, now that's just gonna be a whole lot of people missing for the small backwater police department that they have. And the father has properly introduced himself and introduced his powers, and I need to splash some goop juice on me. Clean it up on my face real good. Ah, I feel all sorts of better. Do I feel all sorts of better? Uh, not quite 100% just yet, but maybe I will soon. I believe I got a gun and a knife, which means that I can do a lot more than I was able to do before. Okay. But now that I got the ox statue, I can go right to the main hall and hope for the best when it comes to my survival. But again, I'm not I'm not I'm not terribly confident about this considering the father just shot himself in the face and was still moving when he was on the ground. Oh man. It reminds me of this flash game that I played a long time ago. Um, it was about the end of the world, a more biblical sense of the end of the world, but it was when, uh, the game was about you in this apocalypse scenario, but the, the tragedy of it was- Alright Ben, very fancy, like it a lot, can I just push now? Ooh, I can. Oh, that's a fan. Ooh. Oh, fuck, dude. Okay, I'm a brave boy! I'm a brave boy, oh boy! Oh, hi. Shoot me, shoot me. I don't think I want to. Maybe I was supposed to shoot it and not swing swong at it. Okay. All right, then there was another one over here. Ooh, that looks like a person. But anyway, the game was about an apocalypse scenario and it was literally the end of the world and everyone that was left on Earth literally couldn't die. And it wasn't in the sense that if they got shot, they wouldn't die. No matter how small the piece of them was left after they were dead, no matter what happened to them, they were still alive. If they were a writhing pile of flesh, they were still alive. Now, now in this world, they seem to be healing, which probably is a little bit better than the other way, but I cannot imagine what it would be like to just be like, being shot a million times and still being alive and feeling it. That horrifying pain. Hello, Zoe. Did my daddy give you a hard time? Oh. That's your father? He used to be. Mm. I'm sorry, but he, he... He's a... He's dead now. No, don't you get it? You just might be able to pull this off. Uh. What? Pull what off? There's something I need you to do, but I can't explain it right now. Hmm. You may need some sort of keys to do it, but find a way out of the house. Okay. okay. I'll be in touch. Okay. I mean, I could just, you know jump through one of these windows, I'm- I'm totally fine if there's- oh my god, that door is amazing. But if I just get some glass shards in my eyeballs as I jump through a window, I think I'll just splash some goop juice on them, and then I'll be fine. Or maybe I won't be. But that's fascinating, because according to the map, or the little poster in the- this one, According to the map that I found in the basement right before I found Mia, there are three children. There's a son, a daughter, and then someone that might be saying, I'm sorry, I won't be bad anymore, or whatever they did say. 
Over 20 missing in two years. Captain Howell from State Police told reporters they have started a search for Helen Midkiff, a college student from North Carolina who is traveling in Louisiana. Miss Midkiff hasn't been heard since the night of the 21st. Reports of missing persons in South Louisiana have increased dramatically in the past two years. The majority of those missing are tourists and vagrants. At least 20 people are thought to have gone missing so far. Police suspect foul play and believe there may be a connection between the incidents. Plans are in place to step up local interrogations and increase personnel to increase or further the investigations. Alicia Ashcroft, January 19th, 2016. I don't know why that name remind, rings a bell or anything, but I'm not 100% sure that that is not coincidental of who that is. Okay, what are we looking at here? Okay, why are we looking at that? Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to cast a shadow. Oh, cool! Well, I mean, that's not the right thing, but I mean, I could, I could try something. So I need to find something that casts a shadow of a bird. Something that may not at its surface look like it might be a bird. Could it be... My sweet fragrant herbs. No, that doesn't work correctly. Okay, so nothing about that works, but I need to find an item and then put it there for the shadows to go play. But right now I need to find my way through the rest of this place before I die. A horrible, horrible death. Got more chem fluid though, which means that I can combine that into that. Ooh, gunpowder and chem fluid? How do you combine chem fluid with anything to be able to get what you need? I'm all about game logic here, so I'm gonna ignore that and just carry on with the game without criticizing too much. But this is all fascinating, because like I said, I don't know if this has to do with the Ouroboros virus. It seems to be more catered towards some type of curse. Something more spiritual than was in the last games, but I, I, I'm pretty sure it ties in, because it wouldn't be Resident Evil and also called Biohazard if there wasn't some sort of biological component to all of this. Is this the daughter? Evelyn. May 2nd, 2014. No, that wouldn't be the daughter then. Zoe seems to be older than that. Now, I believe there's a son and a daughter and then a third child. That is probably the one. Ooh, hi, Grandma! Hi! I didn't see you there! How are you doing? You alright? You alright? Don't worry. I'm gonna be a brave boy for you. Oh boy, okay. G see? See ya! <laughs> Smooches! Oh wait, am I- am I getting near your room? Oh boy, I hope not. Oh boy. Okay, I thought you left for a second there, Grandma. I would have been devastated if you were gone. I would also be ecstatic if you were gone. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's an ominous hallway. Oh, hi. Hi! Hello? Marguerite! You're looking good! Sorry about killing your husband, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna be back. Okay, so I'm gonna look at the... Fucking hell, the wind is just asinine. Okay, so I need to- I need to keep going through, but I'm getting dangerously close to- Okay, baby, no! Okay, maybe it's daddy's hobby. So is that, is that just what I'm gonna call him from now on? I'm gonna call him daddy. So long as everyone's okay with us calling this guy daddy, I'm gonna call him daddy. So daddy and mama, and then bro bro, and then sister Zozo, Zoe Zoe. I don't know which one is more ominous to go down, but I'm gonna go down this way first. Oh, that's grandma's room. Oh, that's grandma's room. Oh, that is, that is 100% grandma's room. Ooh, I don't know if I want to go in there, but I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna give it a gander. Oh boy. Hello? Ah, this looks almost inviting. Oh boy, what do we got here? Marguerite, move that piece of shit hippie we caught from the hall to the processing area. Okay, what a loving family. What the fuck? Looks like the family stuffed it themselves. Oh good! Why in the heck did I pick this up? Did this have anything to do with the pants flesh statue outside? Whatever. Let's get <laughs> this shit. Break that shit, whatever good that's gonna do me. Okay. Whoa. There's a shotgun in the other room. I could definitely use that, but I don't have a scorpion key. So I need to find some sort of universal key because there's been about three other doors that I've seen so far that have had a scorpion pattern to them. Ooh, and there's another VHS tape. Mia? Oh no. Oh no, this is not gonna be good. Oh, this is gonna be less than good. Oh, I don't know what this is gonna be. 
but I have a bad feeling about it. Mia, Ethan, please watch this. Oh, is this a video that she was recording in the beginning of the game? Oh, shit. No, it's different. Ethan, if you find this, I know I can't expect anything from you. Not after what happened. After what I did. What did you do? But I just want you to know that wasn't me. I don't, I don't know what happened. There's so much that you need to know. There you are! You gave us quite a scare, young lady. Oh, am I playing? Am I gonna be playing now? Oh, I think I'm gonna be playing now. Ooh, shit. I am gonna be playing now. Oh my god. No, I can't! Hi, Marguerite. Hi, Marguerite! Okay, I'm gonna go now. Can't let her catch me again. So what did she do? This isn't right now, obviously. This is not right now. This is obviously recorded in the past, so she must have done something to b betray Ethan's trust. Now, my default assumption is cheating, which could entirely be possible, or leaving him. What a gentle rejection! I was just trying to go in there! Oh my god, what the Over fuck? Here, mommy. What? The fuck? Oh. oh. Okay. Alright. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm a brave girl. I'm a brave girl. I'm a brave girl! Oh, I'm a brave girl! Oh, what is with all the goop? Oh, fuck. God damn it. Fuck the goop. Ah, I don't want to fuck the goop. Don't fuck the goop. Do anything but fuck the goop. Don't fuck that goop. I am sick and tired. Oh, being sick and tired of your bullshit. Oh. I need to hide. I need to hide. This is as good a spot as any. I don't know, Marguerite! What have I done to deserve this except open my home and feed you? I don't understand you, and all this is a gift. Oh, okay, yeah, a gift. The gift of immortality, I suppose. The gift of fucking weirdness. Ugh. All right, then. Carrying on. So there was that little girl, though. That definitely did occur. And I don't know if in this flashback there would be equivalent secrets to anything else that I've seen before. This house has seen more than you. That's definitely the eagle thing. That's the eagle thing that I need. I need to find that. But I can't pick it up. I, I don't know which is which. I can't seem to move anywhere. Uh, I'm going in the bayou! No, I'm not. <laughs> no, we're not. No, not at all. You don't know nothing. Marry him, maybe? Maybe I'm already am married to him, maybe? I don't know what you're talking about, Ethan. Wait, so... Does that mean Mia and Zoe were plotting about Ethan before they even called me out here? Or maybe they did. Maybe they wanted me here for a reason. Maybe they wanted me here to help, or maybe they wanted me here to hinder- Woo. I thought she was gone, okay? No, no, don't come over here. Yeah, don't do that! You don't need to do that! That's the opposite of what you need to do! Hello. Hi. Hi, Mama! What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you doing it? I don't understand what's going on. What do I I'll need to go? I'll you to my babies and fertilize the garden with what was left. That sounds horrible. Why would you say things like that? Are you done? Are you done? We open our home. A little bit. We open our hearts. Eh, I don't know if you have hearts. And what do you do? I have no idea. Tell us. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Oh boy. So she's definitely gone now. Yes, no, maybe so. Ooh. Yeah, I think she's definitely gone. Okay, so let me just ex Ooh. Just double check around here to make sure there's nothing that I need. Ah. Oh. 
I don't know. Oh, it does. Holy shit. This is a lesson. How about that? Oh, pretty close, huh? Nice. Ugh. Again, don't know how that black magic works, but okay. I'll trust that. That's perfectly normal and standard behavior for anything in a normal cursed house with a cursed family that can never die. Where am I going? Oh, shit. Oh, God, I gotta shimmy through here. Oh, little piggy! Oh, little piggy! Oh, fuck, little piggy. Maybe I shouldn't be shouting! In the middle of this close environment! I'm a brave boy! Ah, oh, fuck, dude. Okay. Alright, I guess nothing bad happened. Yeesh! Which seems like the total opposite of whatever goes on when you go into one of those things. Okay, this is where the little girl was. So maybe she left something behind. Because usually when someone appears from she the cross of a- you. She wants us to be a family, goddammit. Uh oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. I where the fuck am I gonna hide? You! You! Fuck. All you have to do is accept her fucking gift! I don't want to do that. I really don't want to do that. And why did she call me mama? Why didn't she call you mama, mama? So you have to accept her gift to fully become welcomed into the family, as far as I know, and then become immortal or whatever it is. We here. love you! Why can't you see that? Oh, uh. fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> No. Oh God. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh boy. There are known unknowns here, and you are not paying fucking attention. Okay. All right. No, 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 no! You don't fucking try to escape your shadow plane. Yeah. There's no way out of there, Missy. Okay, sorry. I didn't know there was no way out of here. I didn't mean it. Oh fuck. Looks like it's part of something, and then I got closed off. Oh fuck. Oh no. Oh hello. Who's this? Okay, that's Evelyn. I know that from the smaller photograph. That's Evelyn. <gasps> hey, don't jump scare me, please. Mm. Hey, hey, fucking hi! Where do you think you're going? I don't know at all! Oh, fuck. Hi. Oh, shit. Yeah, take that. What do you think of that? Okay! Alright. Okay! Sure, I'll do that. Okay. So, but... The main takeaway from this is that she intentionally made that video. Obviously that video is, you know, storytelling, it's supposed to advance the story. But she made the video for a reason, because she was trying to prove a point. She's been living in this place for a while, she knows where to go, she's just trying to hide from them. Here? And then maybe show Ethan something. So, there was something in there, obviously game mechanic wise, to show Ethan about the shit that they were doing with the shadows, but... Other than that, I feel like there was something more to that. Whoa. Hello. Blue dog's head? Well, that's awfully convenient. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but I'll take it. Okay, so I got a blue dog's head, which is nice, I suppose. What do I do with that? Okay. October 2nd. Report says a storm's coming. I had a lot of trouble cleaning up after the last one a few years back. I guess it's time to reinforce the windows and shore up the roof. Maybe I'll get Lucas to help. So is Lucas the guy? The water has finally receded. The house is alright, but the old house is badly damaged. Lucas is making a fuss about a huge ship that's washed up in the bayou. If that's true, I'd better report it to the parish. I'll go check it out tomorrow. Who wrote this journal? Is this Daddy? Did Daddy write this journal? I have no idea. I don't know what Daddy does. I don't know what Daddy does in his spare time besides blowing his own face off, willy-nilly. But I guess we can just carry on now. I don't think there's anything else left here and I can't get in Grandma's room. Wait, did I go in here? I don't think I did. Hello? Oh, shit, fuck. Oh, hi. Hello, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Ooh, more herb, good. Okay. That's probably okay. What the fuck does that say? I can't tell what that says. Probably not too important. I didn't even notice the flickering lights over here. Hello? Ah! Oh, good! A bathroom! Nothing bad ever happened in a horror game! And the fucking bathroom, what the fuck is- I don't have enough space! I don't know if I want enough space! Oh, God! Who took a bath in here? Was this grandma shedding off her skin? Okay. Man, that's- that's gotta suck for grandma. You know, you're immortal, but you're stuck in your old body. Man, I don't have enough space for this. 
I don't even have any chem. So I gotta- I've got a few things that I can put away in the miscellaneous storage containers. I, I've got like this supply box. Can I open this? Wait, yeah, what's in this? Oh, I need to open the supply box. Well, that would probably be useful. So I'm gonna come back for that. I think I can get downstairs to the, uh, to the item box to be able to deposit some things and also save, because that's marginally important. But also, you know, get my stuff organized. Because I'm getting a little- oh, Grandma, hi, you're still there! Oh! Don't worry, Grandma, I didn't go see your private shotgun collection! I didn't see all of your knickknacks and paddywhax. Don't worry, you're all good there. Was this door open the whole time? Whoa. Can I have that? I don't have enough space for that. I'm gonna come back for that once I empty out my stuff and see what's in the supply box. Probably just more stanky dank and a little more chem to make bullets out of for some reason. Dank. How about that one? You can't use that! Why can't I use that there? Why can't I use that there? It's very obvious that I can use that there! What about a commemorative dog's head? Okay, apparently can't use that there anyway. Alright, so I'm just gonna open the supply box then. See what's in here. An empty box! It contains something to help you along the way, and STRONG first aid med. What do I do with the strong shit? Do I just dump that on my head or do I squeeze it up my butt? Oh, which would be better at this point. Okay, so I've sorted out my bullshit inventory. That's enough wasted time. I gotta get going there because there's a gun with my name on it, and then I've got a pendulum that doesn't fit in the other clock, and then I've got a dog's head that I don't know what the fuck to do with, but I think it has something to do with another another type of lock like this one here. It doesn't go on the other side because obviously this door is already open, but there's a gun right over here. And I know it's gonna get complicated if I have to constantly change out ammo for gun. Oh, that was a mistake! I'm sorry! Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I get it. Oh, that's a lot of inventory you're spacing out. That's a gursy ass gun. Oh. So what if I just need to replace this with something of equal weight to be able to do what I need to do. The word living room is written on this clock. Maybe I could use that. Doesn't fit. There was another gun in grandma's room. But I don't know if that's what I need to do. So I'm gonna put this back for now until I got a replacement for it. I'm assuming I need another gun. Boy, daddy really got a good security measure for this one. Alright, so I'm going upstairs. Maybe not. Maybe I'm changing my mind about that because I remember there's a dog head right here. Oh, there's three. Fuck. At least I can put one. Okay, goody goody gumdrops, I did that! Anybody want to tell me how bad I am at that? Maybe I should put this back. No, I can't. I can't even put it back anymore. This is stuck constantly at 10.15. Man, I don't know what I'm doing in my goddamn life. Alright, Grandma, how you doing, Grandma? Mm, love you. Okay, let's get this thing. It's a thing! I can make a thing out of this thing! Oh, that's good. Any chem in here? I need to make some bullets. Thank you for the bullets. Any other chem? What the fuck was that? You gotta make random weird-ass noises behind me? It's a disgusting mess of God knows what. I already told you! I found it out! It's grandma's ashes! Plenty of grandma's remains for everybody to enjoy whenever they want to take a bath. Hey, oh. hey. Whoa! Hi! Holy shit! Nice head! Sure shit beats the hell out of dying. I suppose! Maybe. I don't know about that. Okay, alright then. My little girl has given us a gift. Whoa, was that the gift? And this gift is with me always. Okay, goodbye! I don't want the gift! As I don't want you your see, gift! The of her gift. Ah! Fuck! What? Oh, <laughs> okay, goodbye. You're fucked! Okay, I don't know if I'm fucked about it. That's a bit cataclysmic, don't you? Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I politely closed my doors and everything is good. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay. everything's good. Everything good! I'm a brave boy. Okay, so I just need to make this into an eagle, like, oh, in it, swoop, swoop, yeah, swoop, swoop, yeah, I did it, okay. Did that open a door? Yes, it did. Man, this house has great architecture if there's just constantly things opening secretly. Who builds this shit? Oh, fuck. Hello? Are you coming after me? 
I guess. Yeah, that's- that's exactly what I was wondering. Who builds this shit? Like, who took the time to build all of this stuff? Who put this into an old colonial house in the middle of a bog in Louisiana? It just doesn't make a lot of sense. Who built it? That's- that's what got me thinking that- ugh, there's black goop over here. Ugh. But it may have something to do with the Umbrella Corporation, because the manor in the original Resident Evil was a- a God, I didn't mean to do that! God, stop splashing yourself with goop juice! You're getting too much goop everywhere! Conserve it! Save it! Save the goop! Oh, hi. You want some goop? Ooh. Alrighty then. Let me just reload this one, because I have a funny feeling I'm gonna need it! You live? Better not be. Better not come live, Bambi. Better not come live. Okay, handgun ammo. They give me a lot of the psycho stimulants. Oh sure, nom, 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 nom. let me pop those in my ass or face. What the fuck did I say? Why do I need those? Use psycho stimulants to find items. Oh, of course. Oh, good. You want me to do that now? I think. I'm Orange, manure, garlic. There's a lot of stuff in there. Is that one of the bird? Oh, that's a two-headed bird. What the fuck is that? Oh, what is that? Whoa. Hi! <laughs> okay. Oh, that's so weird. But there's a gun in there. And there's probably a way to get to that gun. I think this is Daddy's drinking room. Because there's a lot of beers that I know he likes to drink. And daddy's shitting throne. Good. Always good to know that he's got that at the ready. He never needs to leave this area. Oh boy. Oh shit. It's dad's plotting room. Oh boy. It's dad's tackle box. Oh. Hmm. You can't jimmy it open. Okay, so I gotta find some for that. Vacationing husband and wife. The husband was a success. He's the 12th. Unfortunately, the wife was no good, so we'll just get rid of her. July 7th, three college girls. They're all rotten. Lucas is a damn idiot. August 13th, homeless man. Turned in three days. He's the 13th. Okay. So this, is, this has to do with that list that we found in the basement earlier in the last episode. They were some sort of like, whoa, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? I see teeth and a mouth inside a mouth. A head in a mouth. Some sort of horrible monstrosity, that's what that is. So I'm assuming that's what they're turning into, which is gonna be monsters. So, they're doing some sort of experimentation, and I can only assume that it has something to do with a virus of some sort, because that's all what Resident Evil is all about. They love them some- ah! Why did I open Dad's tackle box? Dad's bait box! Ugh. Dad's baiting box. Okay, so they- they must be doing some sort of experimentation with these viruses. That's why the house is so intricate and well-built. They all look like they might be victims, and that's why these guys are taking meticulous notes. And that's why- what the hell is this? Looks like a kid drew it. So a kid drew a picture of Mia surrounded by butterflies. Well, that's awfully nice, but I- I don't think that's gonna be- Whoa, it's Dad's black room. Oh! Oh! What the fucking fuck? What the fuck? What the fucking fuck? What the fuck? Don't even try it! Holy fucking show, my god! What the fuck? Okay, alright! You okay, buddy? You okay? Oh god. You gonna come back to life? Oh, fucking shit. So- shh, don't fuck with me. Oh shit. Oh fuck. So now this just got legit. They're the family members that I can't kill. But now there's actual monsters that are gonna come pouring out of the fucking walls. Willy nilly. Oh boy. This is the opposite of good. Oh fuck. Don't you be making noises on me. I do not like. Was there anything in here that I needed? It doesn't seem like there was a lot of items in the past two rooms here. 
I've been trying to get everything that I can scavenged, but I'm gonna run out of stuff eventually. Especially if now I got things that need killing. Yeah. At least I know why. They're giving me all these guns. If I can't kill the family members, at least I can kill them. Alright, let me, uh, mix me up some more bullets. I can at least do that. Boink. Alright. Ah, uh, yeah, that was probably the best use of it, because I got plenty of herbs back in the box. So if I can just get more chem fluid. Ah. Uh, am I a breeze boy? Ah! Fuck! I hate basements! Fuck. Yeah. Why does it look like the walls are oozing blood? That is the opposite of good! Fuck, oh fuck this shit. Oh fuck, you gonna come out at me?! I see the outline of someone! Ooh. Do I? Maybe I don't. Ugh, fuck. Is that a spine? Oh god. Fuck this place. Oh, fuck this place. Ooh. Ooh, fuck this place. Fuck you! You gonna come out of the wall?! Huh?! You gonna fight this brave boy?! Huh?! Fuck you, and fuck you, and fuck you, and fuck you, and fuck all of you. Oh, God. Oh, fuck this shit. What the fuck is that? Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Now I'm- What a fucking fucking fuck! Jesus Christ! Oh my God. Fuck off. Jesus, it had- It had a lot of teeth. I saw a lot of teeth out of nowhere. I saw a lot of fucking teeth. Fuck you, dude. Well, uh, I don't have enough bullets to go on a deep excursion here. Oh, you fucking- Whoa! Whoa, you're just standing there! Holy fucking shit! Oh my god. Okay, so they're handleable. I can tolerate them. I just don't have a lot left. Jesus Christ. Is there any more chem storage down here? I'm starting to see some more intricate things in this house that shouldn't be in a normal house with a normal family. I'm seeing a lot of really- Tamara, Sean, Yeesh. William. Okay. Well, this one's got a bloody hand print, Craig. All right, fine, Craig. Cool, cool Craig. Craig's cool. Laura. Nothing. Travis. It's locked. Of course, it's locked. God, there's so many things that are locked in this game. Oh, hello. Lucas, I caught the guy who keeps trying to escape. I've locked him in the leftmost incinerator so he can't get away again. Take him out when he's ready. You know how to open the door, don't you? Just remember, three A's and a handprint. Do what you want with his girl. Oh, God. Ugh. Three A's and a handprint. The fuck does that mean? Three A's and a handprint. Three A's and a handprint. So there's gotta be some other locking mechanism. That can get that open, but I just don't know if that's in this room. Oh, fuck. I just want to get back and save. Workshop. That sounds fun. Uh, of course it is. Fuck. All right, then. What else we got? Hello? Yeah, this is bad. Oh, God. Ugh. 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 Fuck. All right, uh, I'm gonna back out, you know, I'm just gonna bail. I'm gonna bail on that one. Bail the Reno. Oh, fuck, this is bad. <gasps> yep, yeah, okay, I'm gonna get that with my strong hand. Okay, who wants some? Oh, fuck. Anybody want some? Huh? I got a whole lot of some, if anybody wants it. Processing area map. Jesus. <laughs> Processing what? <laughs> Giving me a lot of ammo and health, which usually is a bad sign. Shit. Is that a thing? Oh, there's an herb there. Just missed that. Oh boy. You've unlocked it. What did I unlock? Hey. The fuck was that? What did I unlock? Is this a way back? Yeah. Oh, it is! Okay, alright, maybe I can just get us to a save point, that'd be great. That'd be fucking great, fuck that basement. Jesus. I need that in my life. Oh! Oh, it's a save room! Oh, I didn't have to go down there! Oh, come in here! Had a nice, fun, relaxing time. 
Oh, okay. Anyway, I'm all out of time for this episode here. Oh, I do not like that basement, but I'm a brave boy and I'm going to go down there. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series because I absolutely am. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.